William Kennedy. Thank you, Walter. Uh, I'm always happy to be here and always, uh, um, I just drove in about, I don't know, two months ago I was coming down from Saratoga and I decided to uh, just ride around the campus and marvel at uh, the changes because when I was here all there was was Siena Hall and then Gibbons Hall and two extension buildings that were clapboard boxes and two Quonset huts and that was it. But I remember uh, uh, very fondly Father Matt Conlon who was the mentor of uh, the Siena News and he was my first uh, professor of uh, composition. He taught a kind of a freshman comp course and, uh, and he was a very learned fellow and a wonderful quiet wit and he of course became president of the college some years later. I wrote a composition that he read and uh, decided to hold up as exemplary in class, exemplary of how not to write a composition. <laughs> he never mentioned who had written this, um, this piece of work, and I was very grateful for that. And, uh, anyway, uh, he was a great guy, and uh, he was uh, uh, emblematic of uh, the kind of instruction I got uh, at Siena, and, uh, which was very learned and uh, uh, also very sprightly and uh, it served me well. I thought it was very interesting how um, we had the opportunity to interact with William. Um, he gave us some great insight about his life, uh, journalistically and as a writer. It's a little bit unreal. You don't see a lot of people um, every single day at Siena College who, is, who are such distinguished writers, so to have one in the same room with um, access to ask any questions and look for guidance, it's uh, fantastic. It's fun. I, I wish I had something like this uh, from uh, writers when I was on campus. But to be a, a serious writer of any kind, you have to do it yourself. And it's just that you can... helping hand along the way doesn't hurt. <laughs> the drive is to you know create something. I'm sort of casting around looking for something to, that will take me by the throat hold me up against the wall and say, write me. And uh, I haven't seen that yet. That hasn't happened. What I got out of the message was uh, never give up on uh, what you want to do. He was talking about how, you know, one day he'll have one page, another day he'll have 17 pages done. And, uh, you know, it's a long process, but in the end it seems like it's totally worth it. I registered for Siena, I, I registered with the proviso that I get to be on the newspaper uh, or else I didn't want to come here. And they said, okay. You know, it's a great profession in the sense that it gets you into the, into the world, gets you out and off and running into the, in the thick of everything. You hardly ever get a chance to interview uh, Marilyn Monroe, say, when you're a banker. <laughs> I was with the paper for four years. I wound up as the editor, and I worked with the printer, the, the Johnson Press, that printed us, and I could make up pages. I could do. I was a fin finished pro uh, newspaper man, and I could write. I could uh, make up, uh, edit anything, and on the magazine as well. So I, I really felt, uh, you know, I was. Uh, I had a career uh, in, in addition to being educated in the arts and, um, and in the English language and literature that uh, I got a job right away up in Lens Falls newspaper and um, I was off and running and I, you know, Siena was great.